did you know that some anti-fouling paint or boat bottom paint actually becomes ineffective if it isn't put in the water within three days? A lot of people don't know that. It's all about what kind of paint you are using because there are just so many different types of bottom paints made for many different types of applications. But what you really need to know is that there are basically two types of paint for two different applications. You've got hard paint and ablative paint for the two different types, then you've got copper based or we'll just call it normal bottom paint to make it easier and what we'll call metal paint for simplicity as well. Now if you'd like to know more than that though, like all the long chemical names and all the finite scientific stuff, like the cuprous oxides, copolymers, cuprous thiocyanate, modified epoxies, CCTs, and biocides, then you'll want to call up one of the paint manufacturers and talk to an expert. The main thing that you want to know is that if you use the normal bottom paint on aluminum or different metals, like your trim tabs, brackets, out drives, lower units, or an aluminum hull, then there will be a chemical reaction between the copper based paint and the metal which will end up corroding away the metal or whatever you put the paint on. Make sure you only use the metal paint on your drives and the regular paint on the hull. The two different types are your ablative paint and then the hard paint. The big difference between these two paints is that the ablative paint will wear off over time and the hard paint won't. This is important to know because of how you use the boat. If you take the boat out of the water, like we said earlier, the paint will oxidize over three days and then it will be ineffective. With hard paint, once it oxidizes, that's it, there is no going back. Whereas the ablative paint will soften up once the boat is back in the water and it will slowly wear off the boat, exposing new, fresh paint that is once again effective. So if you take your boat out of the water and store it on a rack or on a trailer, then you'll want to use an ablative paint. And if you keep the boat in the water all the time, then you'll want to use the hard paint. If you keep your boat on a lift and it's only in the water when you are using it, you really don't even need to paint the bottom at all. The trick to the two paints when it comes to reapplying bottom paint is that you can put ablative over hard paint, but you don't want to put hard paint over ablative because it will just wear off really quickly and you will be repainting the bottom a lot sooner than you'll want to. Because the ablative wears off, it's easy to tell what kind of bottom paint that you have on your boat. All you need to do is just run your fingers across the paint. And if the paint comes off onto your fingers, you know you have ablative paint on the boat. Then if the paint doesn't come off on your fingers, you know it's hard paint. When it comes to painting a boat bottom, for the first time, you need to scuff up the paint or the gel coat with some 60 grit sandpaper so that the paint will stick to the hull. Once you've got the surface scuffed up, you'll want to paint the bottom with what is called a barrier coat. Then you can apply the bottom paint that you want to use. Another trick to do that is extremely effective when it comes to bottom paint is to add some cayenne pepper to the bottom paint and this will give the paint a nice boost of performance when it comes to keeping growth from building up on the bottom of your boat. Some people will go over the top after the barrier coat and paint the bottom with a hard paint, then come back over that with a semi-ablative paint, but it's all up to you and what you would like to do with your boat. Remember though, the more times you paint the bottom of the boat, the heavier the boat is going to be in the water, and eventually, after too many applications, you'll have to remove the bottom paint from the boat and start fresh which can be super expensive because bottom paint is extremely harmful and a really nasty job to get off the bottom of the boat. Now when it comes to actually applying the paint, it's extremely easy. The main thing you want to have right is the tape line. You need to make sure your tape line is straight or else you will have a crooked paint line along the bottom of the boat. Now there are also many methods to finding the water line on the boat from letting the boat sit in the water for a few days to get a little growth line on it, to throwing sawdust in the water along the boat to mark the water line. However you want to do it is entirely up to you, but once you get the tape line on, you'll need to have the boat somewhere where you can paint it easily.
You also want to wear gloves and glasses to keep it off your skin and out of your eyes. Make sure you are careful when applying the paint because you can make a mess of the job if you're not careful and you don't want to have paint all over your driveway. All that's left to do though is to start around the boat and paint away until you get all the way around the boat. And then usually by the time you get around the boat, you can start applying a second coat to the bottom. That is until you run out of paint. But you want to save a little bit of paint for those spots where the boat is sitting. But once you get to this point, go ahead and pull the tape off while the paint is still fresh. You don't want to leave the tape on the boat because it will be difficult to get off if you leave it there for too long. Then, before putting the boat in the water, you'll want to remember to not forget the spots on the hull where the boat was sitting while you were painting. Give those spots a little bit of time to dry and then stick the boat in the water because you're done. Now unfortunately, we don't have a contest prize this week. We've been pretty busy working on getting something created and hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll have a great surprise for everybody. We'd also like to invite you to check out this video that we did where we converted an IO boat into an outboard boat with a bracket and then did another paint job on that boat as well. We'd still love to hear whether you've got bottom paint on your boat or not in the comments section below. We want to thank you for hanging out with us and we look forward to seeing you next week.